Hey, what's going on guys? I've stood here for another Cinema 4D video. Today, I'm going to be starting a new series on my channel called Cinema 4D Quick Tips, where I just give you guys quick Cinema 4D tips that will hopefully help you guys out at some point. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Today, we're going to be looking at placing text on a spline. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head to our front view, and we're going to just draw a spline. So, we'll just grab our pen tool, and we will just draw a spline. Actually, I'm going to do that. That wasn't a great spline. And we're just going to do it like that. Uh, then you're going to grab your smooth, spine smooth, and set the strength to 20%. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of smooth out the spline. And this might just take a second. Of course, you guys can tweak it as much as you want to. See here. Okay, just like that should be good. And <clears throat> now we've got our spline. Uh, we're gonna wrap some text around this. So we'll have some text by going after MoGraph and MoText. And here we'll just say IO Studios. Okay. The depth, we'll set it to five, and actually probably go over like this. Okay, there we go. And the height, okay, so horizontal spacing, set that to negative two or negative negative two. I want my text pretty close, so bring that down to ninety. The height to 90 and the horizontal space, we're going to like 3, eh, just like that should be good. So, um, we can add text to our, or we can r add the text onto the spline by going to, um, effectors and grabbing a spline wrap, <coughs> drag the spline wrap onto the mo text, and then in the, um, spline here, <coughs> drag on the spline. And there you go. Now, text is on the spline, but it's not very great. I guess <laughs> this may probably isn't what you really want. Um, so what you can do is you can tweak it. You can set mode to keep length and banking negative ninety. This is kind of the rotation. You can see here this is the banking, kind of how rotated it is on the spine. Um, and I'll set it back to negative ninety. <clears throat> so we're just looking at the parameters here. So if you want to animate it along the spine, what you can actually do is you can use the offset and you just animate the offset parameter and it will kind of um, make it along the spline like that um, and when you run out of spline it'll just kind of go off in that same direction that it ended off in okay <clears throat> so um, that's that that's just quick tip uh, thank you guys for watching if you did like the, if you like the video of course um, subscribe leave a like comment if you have any ideas or suggestions for videos you think I should make and I'll see you guys later. Bye.